Jam. Oh, there's Belgrave over there. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. How far did we go from the... We were just uh, down the street. The battle was going on right in their own backyard. Really? This is definitely interesting. Aren't you glad we did? I'm very, very... Yeah, glad it's right. Sure. Don't you want to know what was going on? And like, we were in the middle of the battle. Yeah, field. the middle towns. The middle of everything. Still very pretty. Oh no, there's other cars. Oh, farm and stuff. Oh, they have cows. I can pet. <laughs> I might pump it up. Sure. I'm just gonna park here. Uh -huh. I think we might be. Uh -huh. We might be the only ones here. Archaeology of slave quarter site is underway. I'm gonna look for some remnants of slave quarters. The produce on their own time, which is Hopefully limited, their right? Own. Survival. Right, so they've worked all day, and then in what little time they have, quote unquote, free. And now we're going into the Bell Grove Plantation. It's home of the Beverly B. Shoemaker Welcome Center. There's a farm, exhibits, and a plantation. I believe the plantation owner was once a sister of a President Madison. There are exhibits here too, on Bell Grove. Did you go over here? Yes, yeah, very interesting. interesting. Yes. Now this is the rear of Bell Grove Plantation. You can see they have a nice little flower garden. Yeah. Maybe it's not open yet. Or is it on the other side? It's like the puffin' in. Hey, we're waiting for our tutor to start. I wonder if this is open. Oh, it's open. It is open. It's just, sorry, no pictures in the house. Hello? It's kind of creepy. I hope everything's okay. My wife says, get my butt out of here. There's a good overview film on Bell Grove. Here's the extra here in Bell Grove. It has survived many fires, including many battles in the Civil War. And both sides, but primarily the Confederates, used it to watch troop movements so that they could see what was going on on, on both sides of the mountain. So this is where all the tents were. All of the, like I said, he had 7,500 acres. He had a lot of land. Yes, he did. We're entering Middletown. We just passed the Middletown garage. Coming up on the right-hand side is a popular place to do business called Dollar General. Nice now we're entering the new Dollar General store. They have a lot of different food and affordable sundry products for your home. Over there, there are some greeting cards. Start at the Wayside Inn. It's a classic bed and breakfast here in Middletown. It fares all the way from 1797. I love the classic rocking chairs, the gray columns. The entrance is very minimalist. Very nice. It's locked. It's locked. Okay, so it is. Nothing's going on here, huh? Antiques oh, here. Really oh, it's very beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this too. Show me what we look at. Oh wow, this dining room is awesome. Oh, intimate and gorgeous. This is nice. 
This is very nice. Oh, this must be the reverse part of the tavern. You look in the menu? What, the ghost here? There's pictures here. It must be haunted. <laughs> Change every day. No. Shakers, and then we're done. That's State Road 627, and we're continuing our path. Now we're passing Nana's Irish Pub, some other historic buildings, and then here's the Middletown Fire Department. And every Tuesday, they have bingo at 7 o'clock. passing several churches and religious organizations. I love the architecture here, including the post office. There are many homes with classic front porches. Most are wood sidings, lots of gables. And I like the food market with traditional small pumps. Oh, here's the car wash, very patriotic here, red, white, and blue. Many uh, traditional homes brick facades. Now we're passing timeless wines. On the outskirts of town, there are, are many different monuments because this place was really active during the Civil War, especially around Bell Grove. Strasburg is about five miles away. Uh, I'm kind of hungry, so I'm looking for food. I hear there's a place called Schaefer's. That's where I'm on the way for. I think we've left the main portion of Middletown. Okay, here we are. Gee, this place is really happening. Look at all these cars and trucks. This place is called Schaefer's. They're famous for barbecue. Oh, this place smells great. It looks like they freshly repaved these roads and putting new reflectors on. Things are really happening. In Middletown. <laughs> now we're north of Middletown. We're driving through some properties that was involved in the Civil War on our way to a historic farm. There's two horses that live there, chicken with baby chicks. I know everything. And there's a scarecrow. And there are many historic farms in the area too. Civil War battle of Cedar Creek happened in Middletown. Perfect exhibit mm -hmm. here that I would encourage you to look at. We also have an electronic map of the battlefield. Kershaw's men managed to force a crossing of Meadowbrook, pushing back the Union right where the combat intensified. That, that starts right at number four. Okay. Okay. When you go, if you go up to the monument, you can. Okay, so that's all right, with right. four then. There's a historic cemetery that was involved in the Civil War, Battle of Cedar Creek. Many people on the Union side hid behind these markers as defense against bullets. Come here. Come here. Look at all those flies on his nose. Moo! 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 We hope you enjoyed our video of Middletown and remember to subscribe to the Tidy Island CPA channel. Thank you.